In today's Man 21 tip, we're going to have some fun with the new title update. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what my YouTube channel is designed to do is it's designed to help you get better at Madden 21. We do that through a variety of ways, through tips, through strategies and tactics. And what we're talking about today is the latest update. Um, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to share with you what I do uh, every time there's a new patch and just gonna kinda go through this together. This was actually a really, really big update. So um, if you guys wanna get better at Madden, what I wanna encourage you to do right now is go to the bottom right of the screen, click subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you're gonna be able to catch all of the latest videos that I do. Uh, we'll have four videos tomorrow. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock, but I wanna talk about this new patch. For those of you guys who have downloaded the patch, if you've played Madden at all, what you'll find is that you have probably been dropping passes, right? You've probably been dropping passes. One of the tips I just want to have, this is just post patch. This is just what you, you know, this is just kind of what you learn. Um, what I like to do is I like to run through everything that I know. So I load up with my offense and my defense. So right now I'm in Arizona's playbook and I'm literally going through every single formation, running every play and testing things out. I came across this new formation we're gonna talk about it in just a second. But for those of you that are struggling with passing right now, and I, I'm first to admit that I hope that they change this because you are dropping wide open passes. We've seen this on Twitter all day. Uh, seen YouTubers start to talk about it. I wanted to just say, try out the gift wrapped ability in Mutt, okay? If you can, you can equip the gift wrapped ability to your quarterback, that is going to help with your wide receivers dropping wide open passes. They're not going to drop them, okay? But anyway, let's talk about it. It is sad that you have to have an ability to fix that, but that's just 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 so you know, okay? So let's look at the single back bunch uh, tight end formation. This is a, a brand new formation in the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook. We know if, you, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I write – um, I wrote my entire Madden 21 uh, ebook or competitive bundle on this uh, playbook. So this is a really you know fun day for me because we get to lap up a new formation live for you. But if you haven't picked up the guide, it's offense and defense. All right, so four six defense uh, playbook, Arizona offensive playbook. You can pick both guides up in the description. They're my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. All right, we're going to talk about this formation. We're just going to test this out and just show you a little bit of what I see. So first and foremost, if you take a look at uh, Devontae Adams, you'll see he is on a um, an old school fade route. Look at this. You can motion this out, uh, and what you'll see is against man-to-man -man coverage, he's not going to get bumped, and you can actually get that ball. It's an easy, easy dot for Aaron Rodgers. Let me show you what you can do with this. And again, this is... This is straight up live labbing, right? I'm just testing out all these routes, just testing everything out. Just wanted to show you um, kind of what I'm seeing. And this is going to be a little bit of a fun live lap. So again, just motion Devontae Adams out. You see here, I can snap it against man to man. He's absolutely going to torch it. So if you're if you're struggling with the bench press ability, and what most people will do, it's just my experience. What most people do is they'll take their safeties, they'll put them in purples, or they'll put them in whatever. Well, he get him to the outside here, he's going to kill it. I mean, he's literally... I forgot to lob it. Um, he's literally going to kill um, man to man, like straight up. They're not going to be able to take the safety away. If they have the safety over top on Devontae Adams, he's going to get out here. You're just going to motion him right there, and you see this is going to be an absolute dot over the top. It's, a, it's an absolute dot against cover two man. Very, very consistent against other zones as well. But what I like about this is, and, and if you wanted to, you could just high point it. You see here, I can high point it. I can click on I can make that catch. You know, as long as I got the gift wrapped ability, you know this is going to be fine. But you see here, this is one of the this is one of the first um, this is one of the first routes of its type. Uh, I haven't seen this route from a lot of compression. I've seen this route primarily from spread. So when it, when they come into compression, now see how I can inside pass lead that very consistently against cover two man. And then if they take the and then what they'll do to naturally and this is this is what I want you to see what they'll do to naturally stop that is they're going to basically uh, throw that deep safety into a purple. Well, watch Devontae Adams now. He's going to absolutely roast the guy over top. So it's just a lob over the top, one play touchdown against cover two man press. Now what I like to do is I like to check and see what about different shades, right? So we know in Madden 21, one of the things that people like to do is they like to shade outside, shade over top. Does this still work against that? And if it doesn't, what does that tell me? What do I have learned here? Well, you can absolutely, you know, you, you see he's going to hang with him if you do the shading. So what that tells me is, okay, well, now i got to have something that is very effective against something like that, which in this example would be a hitch route, 
right? If they shake coverage over top, you can throw uh, hitch routes for days. But literally just get him out here. And you'll see. I mean, he still does kind of get over the top of him. So let me show you this real quick. And this is the meta defense. This is what everybody's going to be running, especially now because of all the patches they've done to passing. Like passing, it took a big hit in this patch. So what I what I really hope is that you know my my ebooks and my guides can help you guys a little bit with the passing game. But watch here, he's going to get over the top, not quite, and you see he's able to get stopped. So that's just a quick understanding, you know, understanding what you've got. Um, what if I motion him to the right? Can I snap it right there? Nope, I can't. And then you can see here, though, I can come all the way over across and see how he gets inside position. Now, that is interesting against shade coverage over top. So if they man align, if they do all of their stuff, right, to take away the, the deep bomb, what you're going to see is if you motion Devontae Adams to the right, essentially treat this like a slant route. But right there, you're going to be able to hit that. That's a very easy man beater. Very, very easy. It's unbumpable. Let's talk about some of the other plays out of the Arizona playbook. Wide receiver power fake jet. I honestly don't have any idea what the heck's going to happen here. Let's just watch. Look at that. Isn't that sick? That's a crazy play. Like I, you know, there, there's a there's a phrase that Z Farrell's told me long ago. He said, if you see a weird route, try it out. If you see a weird route, try it out. What that means is when you're labbing, when you're practicing, when you're testing things out, just try a bunch of different things. Like literally, the the it is it is unlimited, untapped what you can do creatively in this game. Now, obviously, you are getting blown up over and over again, but isn't this a crazy play? Like, can you imagine if we got this to work? And it looks like it looks like all we need to do. It looks like literally all we need to do is to block Gilmore. So now, and this is where I talk about, you know, you test things out. We're going to ID Stephon Gilmore. We'll just see what happens. See if we can't get this to work. Nope. Okay. But see, this could work against the right defense. It really could. The jet sweep from here, I bet the jet sweep is freaking amazing. Uh, let's let's just test the play action. So watch Devontae Adams. He should wheel up the field. That's actually kind of sick. Because against zone coverage, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to throw that. Um, like if they're in zone, let me show you cover T press here. And we'll just run PA jet sweep. You got the crosser there. You got that deep, deep corner route to Lazard, right? All I'm going to do is take my – I can't hide out anybody, unfortunately. Dang it. But watch Devontae Adams. This is zone coverage. Watch him. He's going to go. Got him on that wheel route. You got all kinds of things you can do. But this – that play is kind of a meh. It's okay. This wide receiver power fake jet, man, I really want this to work. This is crazy. It, the, the handoff doesn't quite go down enough on it, but I really think this could be something. Um, let's try it. Let's just try it against zone and see if they run zone, which I love this little – I love the fact that we now have a, a stock fade against zone. We can just motion out snap. Uh, like, if, like, for example, if they're in, if they're in cover three – and you audible to stick. Watch what happens. I'm going to motion Devontae Adams out. Ah, didn't quite get out there enough. That's okay. That's all right. Not there. All right, let's jump back over and let's try. Let's just test wide receiver power uh, fake jet with a cover four. So this is cover four. See how the – see that lane open up? When they're running zone, you can run this, man. I'm telling you, the zones are going to shift – because they're going to think it's PA jet sweep or whatever. And watch what happens. You're going to go whoops and then pop them right down there. Isn't that crazy? That's against cover two. Uh, we went against cover four, which most people, if they're stopping or trying to stop the run, you're going to see a lot of cover four, uh, in my opinion, in Madden 21. So if you know they're in cover four, you come in this and just pop it in. I mean, that's not terrible. We need a little bit better blocking on the end here. There's fronts this will work against. I know that. Um, I know there's fronts that's working. Cross drag, this is going to be a really good play. This is basically mesh. So you can literally just motion Devontae Adams out here, um, and you'll see he's going to beat he's going to beat man-to-man -man consistently. But what I love about this formation is this is just added added level of things that they have to think about. Like defend – if someone's trying to defend me for my spread and everything that I can do um, – one other thing you want to try to do is just motion all the routes. You see that route to Valdez scaling? See how it's see how it's still going? What that tells me is that's a man beater. Literally, um, his route should beat man to man every single time because it's an angled. It's a specific type of crossing route that gets very very good positioning. Of course, it doesn't beat man to man as soon as I say that. Part of it's because we're going against the freaking New England Patriots who are unreal against man. 
But if I motion him out here, watch this. If I'm just snapping right there, good to see that the stupid tight end thing isn't fixed. But what you'll see is cross drag. And again, I'm just going to motion him out, snap of the ball, throw. You know, not Stephon Gilmore, but, but you know, you've got options. And then what that turns into is, oh, we're running stick now. And now we're going to take Vada Scantling, put him on a slant. They think you're on a little out route. You know, there's just so much opportunity uh, within this. So just wanted to just wanted to highlight a couple of these plays here. Let's jump back into uh, the, the screen. But when you get a new uh, patch, anytime you get a new patch, literally you need to go through and see, have they added new plays? Have they added new formations? What have they done differently? Um, like I'm going to check this doubles flex. You see here not much has changed from this. Um, but if you go to single back bunch, and now you're going single back bunch tight end. Like I haven't seen a lot of single back bunch tight end in my opinion. So let's let's lab up some new plays here. Let's go power alert, zone fake jet. Let's test out the um, – oh, we don't have the jet sweep. Dang it. I wish we did. Okay. It's like why would you have the fake jet if you didn't have the jet sweep? You know what I mean? I really like that. I really want that wide receiver fake jet to work though. All right. Let's try these plays out now. All right, power alert bubble. This is a compression bubble screen. I think this is going to be really glitchy. This this might be the best play. This might be the best play that, I mean, the thing is, bubble screens are already glitchy. glitchy. Now you attach them. Watch this. Boom. Let's go. Like, consistent dot, is it not? Like, it's a consistent dot. Very, very simple. And then, oh, I'm just going to run power O. Like, isn't that a cool play? This is what you get when you get in the lab. This is what you get when you get into practice mode. If you guys aren't a member of my Discord server, be sure to jump into that. That is That link is in the description of this video. And that's Madden 21 right there, which you'll see. Sometimes I do that. But jump in the Discord if you haven't already. Um, trust me, you're not going to regret it. Um, but, man, look at this. This is good. This, this is good. Like, I'm going to go to man coverage, okay? I'm going to pass commit. I'm going to press coverage. I just want to see what happens. This is all about labbing, testing. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, do it. It's in the, script, the, the description of this video. You can click that link. Watch this. Bubble screen. Absolute laser. Let's go. Cover two man killer. Right? Tomorrow you'll see a video for me. This is one of the glitchiest man beaters in Madden 21. Right? 4-6 bear under. Let's see how that does. So we've got power alert bubble. We motion him out. Snap of the ball. Just throw a blind. Look at this. This is consistent. I mean, if he doesn't get a block shed, this is an absolute – like, this is a good play. The question is, what happens What happens if you take Adams and go this way? It's almost it's almost kind of the same. So you can basically play a little, play around a little bit with the motion of Devontae Adams. All right, we're dime normal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cover two. And we're going to shade coverage down to try to get those hard flats out there and just see what happens. We can get him out here to block. He gets that block. We're out. Like, that's glitchy, is it not? That might be – I mean, if you if you watch the video just to find that one play, it's worth it. Zone fake jet. I think these are actually better than people think this year. Um, I think these are actually fairly good runs because what happens is you get an automatic – um, you get an automatic penetration from your interior lineman, and then you can easily just roll. So it's a really, that's a really good formation. Like if they run cover zero on you, like there's just so much opportunity and the quick snap ability of this. Like that's what I love about this. Like you can do hot, you know, and realize like I can do hot routes. So I could do something like this, motion him out, you know, bring him back in, snap. And then I can cancel the auto drop back just by flicking my my right stick to the right or to the left. And now I've got a pr I've got a pretty decent system here. Like you come out power bubble snap throw. That's gonna set everything up to me. And and out of a no huddle situation, if you're going fast, man, you can get the ball out quick out of this. That's a good formation. It's a good formation. A, I'm really excited. We'll probably update this in our guide for you guys. Uh, for guide members, be sure if you haven't picked up the guide, go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll get a finalized scheme for you here. But these are just some of the things that I do when I go into a post-patch 
uh, game. I wanted to share this with you. This is kind of live lab sessions. Just wanted to, I thought this would help, and I also wanted to cover um, what to do uh, for your passing with that gift wrap passing ability. Uh, and I'll do another video on that as well, separate, just so that it's a little bit shorter to the point for people that may not want to watch all the way through. But, man, I, that bubble screen is really good. That bubble screen is really, really good post-patch. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. If you haven't jumped in the Discord, be sure to do that. A link is in the description. Also, if you have a Madden question, be sure to text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Uh, it's in the top left of every video I do. And we also live stream every single night. I do want to let you know we're going to be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Be sure to come by. I'd love to see you at the stream and let me know where you're watching from. All right, guys, we've got some other videos that are going to come up on the screen and we'll see you later.